Hello, welcome to the Media Hunt Show. My name is Andrew. Thanks for tuning in. And welcome one, welcome all. Now, that was a pretty a pretty awesome way to end that uh, Nintendo Direct. First and foremost, happy Pokemon Day, everyone. We've done it. We got to 26 years. God, I feel old at this point. But anyway, let's cut to the chase and why we're all here. Um, the last minute or so of that Pokemon Direct... Perfect. Enough of a tease to get all the brain juices working. And in this last hour and a bit, um, excuse me, me and a couple of friends over on Discord, um, links in the description, uh, have been trying to put together where we think this new region's based. Uh, so what we've learned so far is the region is Spain. It's inspired by Spain. Um, at the start, I was thinking it's either going to be Australia or Portugal. Um, I wasn't 100% sure, but the architecture definitely looked more European for the most part. Um, it took a while and a lot of map turning to figure it all out. Um, a lot of the buildings, though, share a lot of similar architecture from the anime, the Diamond and Pearl uh movie that had uh, the Gala and Palkia fighting, so maybe... I'm probably not going to say it's 100% confirmed Spain, but hopefully in these few minutes I'll be able to discuss and point out where I think it is, um, and try and uh, show what I think anyway. Um, we have the free starter Pokemon revealed. Um, I know not everyone is particularly uh, keen on them, but at the same time, I don't dislike them. So we have the grass rock roof um, called Spring Gap Eco. If I've said these wrong or whatever, I apologize. I'm pretty pretty hyped. I'm trying to rush through this to get this recorded. We have the uh, red hot chili pepper Fu Coco, which looks like a mix between a chili pepper and a crocodile. And then we have um, good old Donald Duck Quaxley. I'm probably mispronouncing them. I do apologize. I will practice them as we go. Now, from my understanding, they're pretty common animals, I guess, within that sort of thing. The cat. Ah, you see, I'm all muddled up here. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to go through different bits of the evidence that I've managed to collect over time here. Just to show off what I was thinking, like for example, this this the way that Spriga Gatito is set, um, in Spanish, Spriga is spring and Gatito is kitten. I never did Spanish, so I apologize. My pronunciations are going to be terrible. I'm pretty sure Fuego is something to do with fire, and well, Quaxley is quack, like a duck. Either way, I am pretty hyped, so I am. I like them a lot. Um, so we're gonna slowly go over each part. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Apparently, they haven't run out of colors yet. So yeah, back to the evidence at hand. Um, I believe that the region is going to be based around Southern Spain. Now. I the start, I was sort of working my way around Google Earth and Google Maps to try and find a place that sort of fit the landscape because we have this image here, which um, the King of Games uh, uh, had snagged a screenshot off. Oh, excuse me. So thank you for that. Um, and eventually I came across that it sort of fit. It roughly fit. Obviously, the condensed maps down and fused together stuff to sort of make it all gel together but it kind of fit the southern uh, part of Spain. You'll see here if I flip the image around and then put them side by side I'll throw a few arrows up showing you why I think this is. Um, let me see I gotta make sure I'm reading these names. Uh, I feel like the trio of islands is Adiza, Pamela and I'm not gonna even pronounce that but it's in that area. Um, Barcelona, Valencia, Murcia, and 
Gibraltar, or good, yeah, Gibraltar. I have said these wrong, I apologize, but either way, I think it's that coastline. We're probably gonna have inspiration of um, Madrid in there too, since it's the capital. So, um, roughly, I think the area that I have uh, marked out is the rough sort of space we're working with. Now, it could be argued it might actually be closer to looking like Portugal. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they would fuse the two countries together, but then in the Pokemon world, who knows? Not everything has to be the exact one for one to our world. I expect we'll be seeing... Oh, it's 5 p.m. I imagine we'll be seeing a lot more... I don't want to say Mediterranean. That's not right. Uh, more... Pokemon accustomed to hotter climates. Um, some of the Pokemon we did get to see uh, involved uh, Magnemite, Meowth, Klauser, um Pelipper, Hoppet, um, I'll probably be playing clips in the trailer off the trailer in the video. I apologize, I don't own any of this. Um, it just to point it out. Um, I've also got this map of landmarks here. You can check it. We got Driftlim. We got Combi, Psyduck. We have uh, Starly. Uh, Patil. Uh, Fawn Sweet. It looks like they're going to be following a similar uh, format to Legends Arceus with Stone Journer, which I'm not too sure. Swablu, Pikachu, of course Pikachu made it in. I wouldn't be surprised if Charizard made it in. Let's see, it's a Viper looking real nice with them The texture rings really nice. Lucario, Larvitar. There's a Dratini statue, so it can only assume that. But yeah, the staff only screams like Southern Spain to me. Not that I've ever been. Not 100% sure if um, this is probably the player's house bit. I hope I've got this timed up right. If I don't, I don't. But yeah, it definitely seems like it'll be interesting. So we're also going to discuss maybe the starters a little here too while I've got a bit of time. Uh, uh, at the minute, Serapy uh, has listed that the cat is clearly a grass type, the croc is a fire type, and the duck's a water type. There's no dual typing on them. We know their abilities are going to be Overgrow and Blaze and Torrent. Um, if I had to guess, um, as secondary typing, the fire is definitely leaning towards maybe more. Dragon rock <laughs> type because um, in Portugal, not Portugal, in that sort of an area is sort of where what the Spinosaurus remains were found. I feel like it's going to take on a more Spinosaurus appearance, but I could be completely wrong, so I could. Uh, Quaxley, I'm not 100% sure what it's still typing is. The most obvious one. It's flying, but I don't think they'll do that. It could be a water ice type. Or it could be a water normal type. And then, as for the grass cat, they usually get the bad end of the stick. Ending up as, like, just plain grass. I don't think it's poison, but who knows what will become in the end of maybe grass star. Then that will follow Lynn too much. Who knows? Who knows? I could go on and on, and I probably will later when there's a bit more information. I'll try and keep up to date with this game as it goes. Um, not a, a whole lot more is really known at this stage. Um, loading up Serbi. So, Sprigato uh, is uh, 0.4 meters and 4.1 kg. That's not that heavy. It's quite small. Uh, Hugh Coco is 
uh, 0.4 meters and 4.1 kg, which is the same again. And then Quackly um, is 0.5 meters and 6.1 kg, so it's it's the biggest and heaviest. So um, judging from the stats and how they look, I imagine that um, Spregato is going to be maybe what? I guess we could do a rundown of stats. I'll pop them up on screen, so I will rather than going over them because I need a bit more time to think about it. But yeah, I'll add that in now, and then we'll continue on from there. These here are just rough estimate stats, as you can see on screen how I've split them up, um, focusing mostly on attack, special attack, and speed for the grass type starter. For the water type starter, uh, Quackly, I see it being more of a HP special attacking beast. Um, I don't know. It's to be seen once we actually get to see the stats, but again, these are just rough estimates and guesses I'm making. Um, but yeah, and then finally, a uh, few Kuro, er, Koko. Um, I see it being just a uh, defensive attacker, kind of similar to Totodile, just because of the build. Um, it won't, it'll probably be the slowest of the group, but it'll probably hit the hardest. Um, so overall, folks, like we've learned really from looking at the map and the trailers and stuff that we got there, the teaser, that this is pro most likely 80%. I'm 80% sure this is going to take place in the Pokemon equivalent of Spain. Now, for I've also noticed that there's a shaking Pokemon tree in parts of it, so that means that we've still got some of the Legend Arceus mechanics back. Um, for future games, I would really like to see them expand, maybe out to um, out to uh, out to Australia, um, India, China. South America, just explore different places, or even Canada, you know, around the world. Um, and hopefully, like, we get more content like this as we go on. Admittedly, the some of the textures in the game are a little low, and I'm not particularly fond of the starting costumes the player characters get, but, you know, clearly there'll be changes made, and it is not a finished game title. Um, I also want to preface by reminding people I don't own the trailer so I'm not playing any of the audio and I flipped the video just in case you think it looks a little funny and some of the frames have been altered just to allow for it to show. Uh, if I have to change it I'll take it out or I'll put something over it but yeah overall I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm thinking next time I'm not sure when because there's another video scheduled before this this is kind of impromptu. I'll gather up a group of people and we'll do a little podcast where we try and predict the Pokedex for Generation 9. It's out later this year, most likely around the 15th to 18th of November 2022. In the meantime, guys, have a good day.